always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Beautiful day today. Sunny, quiet, not necessarily a day that you would expect to see dust devils, but the conditions were perfect in Hudsonville. This is a phenomenal video. This was sent by uh, Joyce and Dave Postma. Thank you so much for snapping this and sending it our way. I loved the audio too, by the way, which you can't hear on our airwaves right now, but they're telling all about these dust devils or these dirt devils. These form in Hudsonville on the muck fields, especially because the dark, rich soil soaks up so much sunshine compared to the surrounding areas that it creates a little heat maximum. And that heat maximum is enough to create rising motion, which eventually takes over as a dust devil or a swirl. So these only happen on very quiet and sunny days, and this is an excellent example. Apparently, if you run out to one of them in the fields in this particular situation, you can get kind of spattered with mud. <laughs> so again, really grateful for that shot. Uh, dust devils usually don't do any damage. They can stir things up just a bit, but of course, it's not recommended that you run out into one. It is recommended, though, that if you get a video like that, you send it to us at weather at woodtv.com. All right, currently quiet, clear skies. We're not seeing anything on StormTrack Live. We're expecting mostly clear skies tonight, temperatures dipping down close to freezing. Once you get away from Lake Michigan, it is possible that you could dip down into the upper 20s, especially for spots like Big Rapids. But most of us will be hovering really close to freezing tonight. 34 for Grand Rapids, 34 for Caledonia, 33 in Hastings, right around 33, 34 for Paw Paw, Three Rivers, and Sturgis. Still, that is cold enough for a frost and freeze alert to be issued for our area. And then once we get to about 8 a.m., we should start to see the sunshine rapidly heat us up. It's going to be breezier tomorrow than what we experienced today. And you will notice an increasing breeze and increasing clouds through the day on Friday. So tomorrow we're headed up into the 60s, but it's going to come with the increasing clouds and the wind. Here's satellite and radar, clear skies now. We've got the cloud bank that's going to be moving in through the day. Here's your future cast, and you can watch how it creeps in from the southwest, even though our wind is coming in from the southeast. And right around 6 o'clock tomorrow, we have to start looking for an isolated shower, too. Those shower chances will increase as night begins to fall. Even more showers and storms are expected once we get into Saturday and Sunday. As for Friday, not looking for anything severe, 64 degrees, severe storms more likely on the other side of Lake Michigan, but Friday night into Saturday, we might have to watch for some showers and storms to spark and roll through. Most of Saturday is actually trending dry, though, so we start with a chance of storms that could be strong, and then we finish with a chance of storms. All right, here's the eight-day forecast. Temperatures stay mild, a lot of 60s and 70s on the board. Looking All right. Good. Ellen, looking good. Thank you.